I want to take a moment and talk about the recent spike in ammo prices conveniently right when everybody really needed the ammo for deer season. What is up with this spike in ammo prices? Well, I'd like to say that there's some good things behind the spike in ammo prices and then there's some bad things behind the spike in ammo prices. Let's talk, start with the good things. People were not able to find deer hunting ammo. It was a very difficult thing for the last month. Everybody I knew was asking me where could they find 30-30, 30-06, where can they find these 8mm Mauser rounds, like where is all this ammo at? Because they're having no problems finding 9mm, uh, 38 Special, 223, that kind of thing, the more common calibers. But the big rounds, the deer hunting rounds, were really hard to come by. So production of that deer ammo increased as demand increased as we were getting closer to deer ammo. Now, if you ever hung out at a gun store for uh, many years, what you typically find at that gun store is once they hit summer, it kind of just slows down. For whatever reason, people don't buy guns or ammo in the summertime. But they can always depend on that amping up significantly in the fall because of deer season and because of all these other hunting seasons that the states across this America have throughout the fall. And uh, so suddenly people, there's demand increases. Now that's when things are normal. <clears throat> Add to that, the, you know, the, as we're kind of recovering from the ammo crisis and this ammo shortage, what we're seeing is there just wasn't a lot of uh, deer type calibers out there and people were really struggling. Pretty much if you didn't have it already, you probably weren't going to get it is what most people came to the conclusion of when it came to things like 30-06 and 3030. So what the, ammo what the ammo companies did is they amped up production of that ammo. So they had to shut down some production of the common calibers, which is what most of America is demanding and is wishing we could recover from, to put in this short-lived production of deer ammo. So when you do a shift like that, especially under a major ammo shortage that we're just recovering from, it costs a lot of money. Um, so there is that to it. Um, uh, now, the, that's the good side of it. Now, I say good because the fact that they even made it available is great. Like, that's great. A lot of people were really coming to the conclusion if you didn't have it already, you just weren't going to have it. So the fact that they made it available is great. Now, the negative aspect of this was a lot of it was really taking advantage of people's needs. Now, there's a point when demand is so high because there's some sort of an event where everybody needs something kind of like when there was a toilet paper shortage or the ammo shortage there was this need of stuff and there were some people who were hoarding all that stuff and then spiking it so ridiculously high um, that it just doesn't even make any sense um, it's really a gluttonous way to take advantage of the needs of others and profit off of the needs and suffering of others and that's what we're also seeing in this deer ammo shortage as well is that there's this group a certain percentage of people that are taking advantage of the needs of others because they just don't have the ammo. Well, I happen to have a box of 20, 20, uh, 20 30, 30 rounds, you know, and then they're doubling prices, 50, 60 bucks a box. That is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is the negative side of this. So don't be so desperate for that ammo um, that you're willing to pay two, three bucks around. I mean, it just isn't worth it. It just isn't worth it. I mean, and in the end, probably need two to five rounds to side in your scope, and then you ideally just need one round. So you know, to hit a deer. So you don't need hundreds of rounds of deer ammo. You need a box of 20, and that'll do it. Uh, but don't pay that. Find friends. Friends have it. You know, I, I put out a video recently on how to find deer ammo, and one of the biggest pieces of that was ask around. Ask around. You know, I happen to have some ammo that of guns I tried but got rid of uh, that I have the ammo still for. I, you know, people have reached out to me. If I happen to have it, I give it to my neighbor or friend. That's so. Reach out, reach out to people um, in your community, loved ones, friends, neighbors, family, that kind of thing. Hey, you happen to have a box of thirty out six? Chances are they do. So uh, don't pay that sixty dollar price. Three dollars a round is ridiculous. Don't encourage that. 
type of uh, behavior as well. So uh, there you go. There's the good and bad of the spike in the deer ammo. Love to hear your thoughts on all that. Any comments or any ideas, please put, please put them below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel through Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So never hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God. Love your family. I don't love guns. Thank you.